I had an unusual trailer the other day. I thought I'd show you a little bit about it. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your Maple Leaf host. And the other day, I had an unusual trailer from Canada. And I thought I would show a little bit about it, some quirks and features about it, and uh, then we'll talk about it. It was unusual. I've never seen, uh, well, I have seen them, but not in a long time. I don't usually get that kind of trailer with these kind of things on it. Let's go out to the man on the street and take a look at it. Mark? All right. Thanks, Mark. Hey, if you ever had one of these, this is a 53-foot trailer. This is not your average um, trailer, okay? So you need to come back and check if you can't get air to the trailer. Check these valves and make sure they're both closed, all right? Because uh, we're getting air out of there. This is to hook up doubles. This is a Canadian trailer. But uh, that's the point of it, to hook up doubles, right? So you get your light cord or whatever and hook it up, which is unusual. You don't see these here in the United States much, but that was my trailer uh, for the day anyway. But either way, right, make sure that these valves are closed if you, are, if you get to pull a trailer like this. I like this too, the uh, upper lights blink for the uh, stop and turn signals. I think all trailers should do that. I think that's a great idea. I don't know why they don't all do it. What do you think? Let's get those lights blinking. This trailer gets the handle too to pull out to uh, slide the uh, tandems. Isn't that great? That's super classy. You don't see those anymore. And this trailer is only a couple years old. So uh, still got the handle up there, eh? It also gets a box by the crank handle for what? What is this box for anyway as you walk back here? Hmm. Well, some people can't park, but that's another story. What do you do with this box anyway? Well, <coughs> that lowers the back of the trailer to, for hooking up, docking, and everything to make sure you're at the right height. So you pull that, and the back of the trailer goes back down. Pretty clever. Pretty clever, I would say. You don't see that on too many trailers either. All right, thanks for that, Mark. I appreciate it. Look, I don't get many of these trails like this. It can be an issue if you don't haul doubles or whatever. This is the same as any pup here, just longer. So if you're hearing a leak or whatever back, oh, I don't know where it is, check those valves back there. You never know if you've got one of these weird trailers in case you do a lot of dropping hooks. Maybe you don't. It's just a weird thing that uh, I don't see very often, these kind of trailers. So I thought I'd put it out there. All right, so uh, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll be back soon in the United States with more Trucking Answers.